Hello everybody, it's Dynamagon and today what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna um make a Hello World program and only hex. It's gonna be really small and really quick. But anyway, uh first okay, there's some things that I gotta uh, mention first. This uh the first thing is that this only works in Windows 7 and down, and I'm pretty sure the reason why is because this is um use this uses uh MS DOS, um, MS DOS uh, code, or it uses it, it's it's an M MS DOS type file, um, and it uses interrupts, so it it definitely won't run on Windows 10, or um, and it has, and it absolutely won't work on Windows 11. Like there's no way in hell. But um, I'm pretty sure I, I'm I'm not certain, but I think if you run it in DOSBox, it'll work on Windows 10. So I guess you guys can try if you want to try it on Windows 10. You can try that out and see if it, how see how it works. But anyway, um, first thing we got to do is go download a hex editor. So <clears throat> uh, as much as much as it would be cool to be able to um, as like as cool as it would be able to. As cool as it would be to be able to do this all on Notepad, you can't because Notepad um, doesn't save all the bytes correctly. Uh, it it I think it it's got I think it's like something to do with um, it it, ha it has to be within the range of AS or ASCII. It has to be there in in the ASCII range, which is which is only like seven bits. So I think it's like um, one hundred twenty eight characters that are um, in the ASCII table. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's just go to the website. So let um let's just go it it's t tps mh dash nexus dot d n x eight no I mean h x d man I can't reckon oh my god I'm so literate oh whatever anyway <clears throat> all right here's the, the program as you can see it also works in Windows XP and I think it works in um. Uh, operating systems as, as far back as when Windows 95. Yeah, look, see, it does. That's fucking crazy. But anyway, let's just download it. Um, I'm gonna get the English version. And <clears throat> here we go. We've got the, the setup, so let me just open the setup and just run it. There we go. Yes, I under I trust it. Okay, and then we down we just install it. There we go, and yes, we'll create a de uh, des desktop shortcut because it'll be f nice. All right, so there we go. Now we can just close all out of all this. Okay, so let's just make a new file, a new file, and we're going to just start get right into coding. So first, we got to put 4D and 5A, and this is just MZ um, in hex so ba so every I don't know why but for ev uh, I, like every Windows application w like whether it be from um, MS DOS Windows X uh, XP Windows 95 Windows 10 even like it doesn't matter they all have MZ at the beginning for some reason and I'm pretty sure I, I'm, I think it's because some um, one of the developers of like Microsoft uh, at Microsoft just to see one of their initials to be at the beginning of all applications. I have no clue, but yeah, whatever. But anyway, we, now we do 3B, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, uh, FF, FF, O2, or 0, 2, not like actual letter O. And then zero zero. Now we go on to the next line, and we're gonna put zero zero, one zero, zero 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 zero, um, zero 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 zero, zero 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 zero, and then at um at eight at the I eight column we're gonna put one C and then zero 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 zero, zero 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 zero. Zero 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 zero, and um, actually, wait. Okay, yeah. Now it just, we just keep going, doing zeros, keep doing zeros, and then e um, zero e. Oh my god! Ah, oh, oh god, I suck at typing. Okay, zero e, one f, b four, oh nine or zero nine, b 
BA, 0E, 00, and, um, okay, and let me see if I can freaking remember, um, CD, 21, and, and B8, 0, 4C, CD, 21. All right, now we actually get on to the actual making of the string. So uh, first of all, let's just put 65 for H. Um, wait, no, that's not H. Okay, I mean I, it's 45 for H. Oh God, wait, I just deleted the other thing. Oh God, I just deleted one of the one uh, of the import. Stop breaking it! Oh my God, I keep forgetting that the the just one backspace clears the whole thing. That's what the problem is. All right, so 48 for H. 65 for E, um, 6C for L, 6C for L, and you know what, it, just to speed it up, we don't even have to put in the, the hex notations, we can just put the actual letters right here, we can type it right here, but look, okay, let's, so let's put 20 for the space, and 77, wait, not 77, oh my god, I just, uh, oh my god, hex coding is so freaking annoying. I, okay, I, I, oh my god, I actually put the, the actual, co um, uh, the actual letters here. Co Hello world. And then, to end it all, we just put, um, we go over here, put 24. And there we go. That's done. So now all we gotta do is just save it. And, uh, okay, we go to the desktop and just say hello. Hello world. Dot exe. There we go, and there it is. So I um let's let's just run it and see how it works. Hello world. Oh wait, well, you know what? I okay, I got a, a better idea. Let's you use cmd. <coughs> Cd desktop, and then hello world. Dot exe, and there we go. Hello world. That's a. It's like that is one of the smallest fr freaking programs that I, I I think I've ever seen. Like, it's only 58 bytes, which is just insane. In fact, you know what? Let's let's edit a little bit. Instead of just having this, um, th this instead of having no like e uh, pu punctuation, let's add a uh, let's add a exclamation point and then put the put the uh, um, the dollar sign back. The dollar sign is I'm pretty sure the dollar sign is just the end of array character. There we go, and and now it should be, at least I think, yep, there we go, hello world with an exclamation point, hello world, we get, okay, hello world, that exe, oh god, I forgot, wait, I forgot this, this top, oh, god, no, wrong thing, there we go, hello world with an exclamation point, awesome, hooray, all right, now if if you want to know how this actually works, um, I, I to be honest, <clears throat> I don't even really fully how, know how it works either. Um, I I kind of just memorized the the uh, the, the hex, um, but I'm pr I'm pretty sure that it's got something to do with um, it, it using uh, interrupts to call the. Um, uh, well, or or he, he interrupts or or assist calls to call standard out, um, and and that prints the the the, 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 the string, but I could be wrong, although it does make sense because it's the same thing. It's the same thing in assembly. You just you just include the the um, appropriate in, include libraries and or include files and include libraries, and then you just. Put, you just pass the arguments to the stack and then and then you call standard out and then that prints your message so I mean and this could be the same thing although it's like way way smaller than it, than an assembly program even is like this is just ridiculous how small this is if, if you go over here if you look at this it's freaking 
like 90 or 59 bytes that is not not 59 kilobytes not five ki kilobytes not 500 not, not even 500 bytes it's freaking 59 bytes man that is just insane man so if we go over to the calculator uh, where's a calculator calculator if we go into calculator and we multiply 59 by 8 that is only four four hundred seventy two ones and zeros that make up this entire um hello world program i mean that's kind of i mean it's not, that's that's okay it's that but like it's still pretty damn small like there's no i don't like that's got to be the smallest program that I've, anybody's ever seen but anyway Hope you guys enjoyed this funny, wacky video of making a Hello World program and only hex for some reason. It hasn't. It really has no application to in modern coding. But I mean, hey, it's it's cool. I think I think it's cool at least. I've always liked the idea of making stuff from scratch. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more coding stuff like this, just let me know in the comments. And yeah, goodbye.